I was lying in bed one morning and I rolled over and suddenly my breast felt a little bit tight and I'd been aware that there was a patch that felt a little bit strange. Not, it wasn't a lump, but it felt like a thicker area in my breast. And I just assumed it was nothing and ignored it. But when I felt it this time, I actually felt a definite lump. So I called and managed to get an appointment with my GP that morning. When he was fairly certain it was nothing major to worry about. But because we've got private health care, I was referred. I saw him on the Friday and I was at Kim's Hospital at the One Stop Breast Clinic on the Tuesday for my appointment. I arrived at the hospital and was greeted by Leslie, the breast care nurse, and I went straight through to see Mr. Danny, who examined me. After examining me, I went through and I first I had a mammogram and then I went and had an ultrasound. And during the ultrasound, they also took a biopsy. After that, I went back to see Mr. Danny. Um, I'd arrived on my own as my husband had a work meeting in London and I thought this is nothing to worry about so I don't really need him with me but I walked into Mr Danny's office Leslie was there and he looked at me and he said you almost certainly have breast cancer. Before I left the breast clinic that evening I was given a follow-up appointment for the following week so that I could come back when the, the biopsy results were in so we could confirm the diagnosis and work out a treatment plan from there. The following week, I came back to the breast clinic and I saw Mr. Danny again to get the results of my biopsy. As suspected, I did have breast cancer and immediately we arranged a load of different tests. I had blood tests, I had further biopsies and we then went on to discuss a treatment plan. Due to the type of cancer and the area of my breast that was affected, I, my only option was to have a mastectomy. We did discuss whether I would have chemotherapy before treatment or after treatment, but in my case, the chance of it reducing it enough to avoid a mastectomy was pretty unlikely. And I felt I just wanted to get the cancer cut out as soon as possible. So my surgery was arranged for within a couple of weeks. On the day of my surgery, I was admitted into Nickleby Ward. I had a lot of support from the breast care nurses, before and leading up to the day of, of it being admitted. My husband came with me and we were shown to our room, lovely private room with my own bathroom. The nurses were incredibly friendly and welcoming, told me what to expect for surgery. And I was never made to feel that they didn't have enough time for me. Anything I wanted to know, any questions I had, any, anything I wanted to just chat about, they were always there. And one of the nurses even shared with me her personal experience of her surgery from her, her breast cancer, which was really nice, a really nice personal touch and really made, it, made me feel like she cared about me. What was wonderful was the continuity of care from the nurses. I saw the same nurse several times and they were, always came in and always made me feel like I was a person who mattered to them. They, it almost felt like a friend coming in when they came into the room because obviously when you're in hospital, your family can't be there all the time with you. So it was nice to know the nurses were there. But the other thing that, from, also from a psychological point, point of view, as well as a practical point of view, was being in a hospital close to home. If I'd had to trek up to London all the time, I would have felt a million miles away from my family. And it would have been a huge amount of time, not to mention expense, for them to come and visit me all the time. So being not far from home in a hospital close by was, was just so amazing, uh, really meant that family could visit whenever they wanted to. After my surgery, I came back for a follow-up appointment, saw Mr. Danny. Unfortunately, the results of the biopsies, oh, biopsies from my surgery showed that it had spread to my lymph nodes. So I had to have a second surgery, which I had less than two weeks later. And I then went on to have chemotherapy and radiotherapy, and I'm now just having targeted therapy. I really recommend Kim's Hospital because you're welcomed with a smiley face from the minute you walk in the doors and are greeted at reception to the wonderful friendly nurses and the expert consultants and all the staff who know exactly what they're doing and make sure you're in the best hands and feel comfortable throughout your whole journey.